Hello everybody and welcome back. As I'm sure you all know, there was Pokemon Direct yesterday. We got some really awesome news about Pokemon Sword and Shield. The first ever Pokemon DLCs, which I'm really excited about. We've got new Pokemon, returning Pokemon, a lot of like really, really awesome stuff. But that is not why we're here today. That is not what this video is about. On top of all of the awesome Sword and Shield stuff, we also got the announcement of a new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, which I'm really excited about. It looks like a Switch remake of the original GBA Red and Blue Team games, which have hold a lot of nostalgia for me, and I'm really excited to play them. This is the demo, which was released yesterday, um, straight after the Pokemon Direct. So I've been told the DLC is about 40, 45 minutes long, so I may split this into two episodes. If this video says part one, then there will be a part two out very shortly. But um, I'm really excited, so let's just get into this. Right, so we want English. Uh, yes. Let's go, okay. This game, yep. Yeah. I think that you can transfer your data over from the D demo as well. Here we go. I remember this intro very well. This is basically the intro for them games. Are they going to do the same, like, question? There we go, Rescue Team DX. Are they going to do the same, like, question thing at the beginning? Because that's... I don't know what they did. I haven't played many of the Mystery Dungeon games afterwards. But this one, the, these ones I played a lot. Welcome. This is the portal that leads to the world of Pokemon. But before I can let you through, I have several questions for you. I want you to answer them sincerely. Are you ready? Okay. Let the interview begin. Okay. Your friend fails to show up for a meeting at the promised time. What do you do? Uh, honestly, I'll probably just wait. Like, I'll message them and be like, where are you? But I'll just wait. Can you go into a haunted house? Probably with someone, yeah. Do you sometimes run out of things to do all of a sudden? No, I leave things to the last minute and then have too many things to do. Do you tend to laugh a lot? Yeah. Is it a pleasant day? Is a pleasant day at the beach? How do you feel? Uh. It's not that I want to go home thing, but I don't know, I get bored of beaches quite quickly. But I have a really good time while I'm there, but I just get bored quite quickly. I do have a real good time while I like on the beach, to be fair. Your friend is being bullied, what do you do? Uh, it depends on the situation. I feel like... I feel like nowadays, if someone's just being a bit of a, like, a dick to my friend, I'd probably just face up to them and be like, what's the issue? Um, we'll go, we'll go with that one. Do you feel lo lonesome when you're alone? Yes. You're going to bungee jump from, for the first time. Since it's scary, you decide to test a jump with a doll. The bungee cord snaps. We still tried to make a jump anyway. No. No way. Do you want to play as a boy or a girl? We'll go with boy. You appear to be... Let's find out. The brave type. You have a strong sense of justice. You hate evil. You will take on any, op any opponent. You are truly a hero. I don't know. I don't know if we'll go that far, but... Go forth for justice, for peace on earth. Fight the forces of evil. If I'm wrong, work at becoming work at becoming a true hero. I'll take I'll take that one for it. <laughs> a brave person like you should be. Oh, we got matchup. <laughs> First time I played the game, I got Pikachu, um, and then I think I got like Torchic or something at one point, or like. Yeah, I think it was Torchic that I got the second time I played through. I'm happy with matchup. We'll go with matchup. You appear to be the Pokemon matchup. Is that correct? 
Yeah, go on. <laughs> this is the final step. Who would you like to have as a partner? Choose the Pokemon you want as your partner from this group. Who will be your partner? Oh. I kind of want to go with Torchic. Torchic is like my favorite Pokemon ever. But in the Emerald Randomizer, my original start was meant to be a Cubone. I couldn't use it because it didn't have any attacking moves, so I had to go with Golpin. And I feel bad. I feel like I want to bring Cubone back. He even had a nickname and everything, and I just couldn't use him. But Torchic is like my love. We'll try something new. We'll go with Cubone. Let's do it. Yes. Um, we'll go with Boy because I'm pretty sure my Cubone in the randomizer was male. Yes. His nickname. Here we go. Right. He was called Junior because of the whole like Kanga Junior thing, like the whole baby Kanga scum thing. There we go. Actually, I'm going to go for, like, the full spell out Junior. He's going to be Junior. There we go. Junior right for a nickname? Yes. There we go. Little Kangaskhan. Little Kangaskhan Junior. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be a Kangaskhan, but you get you get the you get the reference. Uh, yes, let's do that. Okay, we're all set. Let's get you into the world of Pokemon. Go for it. Let's go. This is a really new combination of Pokemon, like I usually choose one of the starters, at least. Where am I? Am I dreaming this? I feel a pleasant breeze. I hear a voice from somewhere. I wonder who it is. Excuse me. Please wake up. Come on, wake up. There he is. You're finally awake. Great. Where is this? You are passed out here. I'm glad to see you awake. Uh, I'm Junior. Glad to meet you. And you are? I've never seen you around before. Huh? You say you're a human, but you look like... A normal matchup in every way. <laughs> it's true. I've turned into a matchup. But why? I don't remember anything. Um. You're kind of weird. Your name? What's your name? My name. That's right, my name is. Right, we'll go with Sam, obviously. I really like the graphics. I like the way the new graphics look. When I first, like, saw it on the direct, I was a little bit like, mm, I don't know. But, no, now that we're in the game, I, I do really like them. They look really cool. Is Sam okay? Oh, Sam's your name. Wow. It's, it's a funny name. Somebody, please help me. Uh, I hear shouts from over there. What's wrong? It's horrible, my cat fell into a cabin, my poor baby. What? A huge fissure opened in the ground and my cat fell in. He's too young to crawl out by himself. When I went to get my baby, Pokemon suddenly attacked me. Huh? You were attacked by other Pokemon. They must be enraged by the fissure and are out of control. That's what I think. I'm not strong enough to fend off those wild Pokemon. What will become of my baby? Oh, what am I to do? Oh dear, oh dear. This sounds bad. We have to go help. Let's go save Cat P. Oh, Tiny Woods! Yes! I've, I, it just brings back a lot of memories seeing like the names of the of like Tiny Woods, the first um, the first dungeon. Could this be a mystery dungeon? It is, it's a mystery dungeon. A mystery dungeon is a truly mysterious place. The layout and the items change every time you enter. You can proceed by using the stairs, but you have to find the stairs first. And you remember that what that Butterfree said? Pokemon in the dungeon attack, right? If necessary, we have to fight. Let's do our best, Sam. Else walk. Okay. So we can use 
the pad there. Oh, does it show us where enemies are? Use the move A. Oh, nice. Okay, so it shows us where the enemies are. Let's attack the best PG. Oh, wow. I feel good now that we got we got a uh, we got a Q bone back. I'm so happy that this this is like coming out soon. Uh, you yellow teammates green items blue any Pokemon red that's why okay. Let me get some get some Moolah. Okay, so I don't know if it will be like this for the whole game, but at the moment it kind of shows where everything is. Eat an orange to restore some HP. And then press X to select. Okay, cool. Why is he like spinning around? I don't. Alpha auto mode. Oh, okay. So you press L and he, I think he kind of just walks around and picks up. I just really goes into unexplored rooms and stuff. Oh yeah, I could speed. I could speed up as well. I just choked him around saliva. Okay. Yep. You just keep going that way. Okay, so apparently I can't attack. I think it's because there's like a technically a wall there. I'm assuming. Alright. Let's take the stairs. I'm not gonna go and like purposefully fight all of the Pokemon and stuff. Oh here we go. Wow. Mummy, where are you? We came to rescue you. Huh? Your mum's waiting, let's get you out. Okay. Oh, bless him. My baby's safe. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could ever thank you properly. Oh, that's okay. It has been dangerous lately with sudden quakes and fissures like that one. It was great to find your little boy unharmed. Please, may I have your names at least? I'm Junior. And this is Sam. Oh, look at him. Little sparkly boy. He's, uh, stare staring at me adoringly. Those sparkly eyes. It's a little embarrassing. But this doesn't feel bad either. It's like I'm a hero. Helping Pokemon in trouble might be a good experience. Thank you, Junior and Sam. I know it isn't really enough, but this is a token of our thanks. Please accept it. Tiny river seed. Wait, oh, 500. Thank you so much. Goodbye. And off they go. Thank you for helping. You're very tough. I, should, well, I was sure impressed. So, what are you going to do? Do you have any plans? Listen, Sam. If you don't have a place to stay, you should come with me. Let's go, Junior. Well, this is the place. Aww. Oh. Wow, I can't explain, but I'm happy. I'm a human. I'm a human being, but I like this place. I feel weirdly happy. It might be an instinct thing for Pokemon. Maybe this is what it feels like to want to wag your tail. It doesn't matter. I'm happy. Maybe I feel that way because I'm a matchup. Oh, Sam, you're impressed, aren't you? I thought so. I thought this would make a good place for you to live, Sam. I was sure you would like it. This is your mailbox. They deliver mail from other Pokemon here. Because of those disasters, many Pokemon are suffering. You know, just like the Fisher Caterpie fell, in, fell into. For some reason, there have been many natural disasters lately. I want to help Pokemon in these tough times. I want to help change things so all Pokemon can live in peace. So, uh, well, I liked how you handled yourself when we rescued Caterpie. Would you like to join me on a rescue team? Sam, with you, I think we could be the world's best rescue team. How about it? Let's do it. Let's do it, Junior. Perfect, that's it then. 
We're partners in our rescue team from now on, Sam. Glad to have you. The team name, well, I don't have one yet. So, Sam, what do you think would be a good name? Oh, would it... Do we go with do we go with the usual cause usually like on stream, for example, in Stardew Valley, my farm is called the Budget Farm. Do we go do we stick with the the budget theme? Uh yeah, that's that's let's do it. Let's do it. We all know what it means. Unless you don't know what it means. And then that's also fine. <laughs> there we go, budget. Is budget okay? Budget team, you no, because you just did uni, so I assume it's still going to be budget rescue team. I assume. Budget. I like it. It's a good name. It's perfect. Oh, and one more thing. I want to wear this on the day I got I on the day I got started on a rescue team. I have two of them, so let's put them on. The scarf you got from June. Ah, oh, looks great. You wear it well, Sam. Don't you feel focused, like we're on the same team together? Rescue team budget. There we go. Let's do good starting tomorrow. Yes. And that is how Sam and Junior began their careers together. As a rescue team. Is that the end? Please don't be the end. Oh, God, there we go. The next morning. So I'm actually going to end this video there. I'm planning on uploading part two more or less as soon as this episode is uploaded. So keep an eye out for that. I'll put a link in the description along with links to my Discord server, my Twitch and my Twitter. So feel free to check them out and I will see you in the next one. Peace.